Hello, and welcome to The God of Crawling Eyes. Played by me, Dr. B. This is a game about a blind, it, it might just be colorblind, about a visually impaired person who gets some uh, experimental eye magnifications. And now we start seeing things. Mom, how will I know if it's working? If you're like 40% of the last trial group, you'll start seeing colors. Yeah, but how will I know if they're the right colors? What do you mean? Yellow, blue, green. I know they mean something to you, but to me they're just words. They don't mean anything. <coughs> don't worry so much, Max. They'll mean something to you soon. Click. But what if my yellow isn't the same as yours? What if I see as yellow, you see as green? What if it's some color that no one's ever seen before? Hmm, I guess we wouldn't know. You can always stop taking them if you don't like what you see. Yeah. It's just that sometimes I hate that I don't have normal eyes. Come on, Max. You know I hate when you talk like that. They're my eyes. The mother carries the gene, you know. And just try to stay positive at school today. <coughs> and also try not to be murdered. Because it is a horror game, after all. And it's really cool and retro and black and white. I like that. Hmm, so that guy has a... Hey, Max! <gasps> Your name is Jace. Hey, Jace. Did you get stories of the macabre last night? It's pronounced macabre, you fuck. And I forgot about it. I've just had so much on my mind lately. Hey, man, it's not like you owe me. You owe it to yourself to watch it. This week's episode was called The Unseen Terror. There's this giant squid monster in the lake which just happened to be where all the high schoolers went to make out. You'd think the girl would ask her boyfriend where they were going, and when he says, Oh, I thought we'd go have sex on a blanket next to a body of water so black and deep that we can't possibly see the creatures dwelling beneath, the girl would have put an end to the date. I guess that would be a pretty sort movie. <laughs> anyway. You can totally tell that the tentacles are rubber when they come out of the water, but there's a moment when they're just under the surface. Like that scene in Jaws where you stop thinking that you're watching a movie and like the monster's real, the danger's real, and your heart's going crazy. Don't spoil it! I still want to get the rewind tonight. Right, man, sorry. You know how worked up I get sometimes. It's okay. Finally, shut up! Jeez, that changed. Well, how are you doing? Don't look now, but nearly, Lily's at 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock? I'm late for class. What should I do? Don't look at me. After I ask Sarah Jarvis out, her and her friends giggle whenever I walk by. Hmm. I think I'm going to talk to her. Got you, man. I'll catch you later. So, Lily. Um. Hey, you sit next to me in biology? Max, right? You know my name? Miss Blackmore calls it every day. Plus, it's written on your book cover. Yeah, my mom does that so I won't lose it. Oh. Not that I asked her to or anything. I'm just playing around. My mom used to write my initials on my socks with magic marker until I was in junior high. Say, about the guy you hang out with. What? Jace? My friend Sarah caught him staring at her when she came out of the bathroom once. He just kind of gives a creep. Uh, I know he's a little weird, but he's my home dog, yo. Right, sorry. I didn't mean to- oh no, you meant to, and I'm gonna get you back for that. Sarah's a bit of a gossip anyway. I'm sure she blew it out of proportion. Oh shit! A noise! What could it be? And where's all the horror? I know school is terrifying in itself, all the peer pressure and, and, the, and the poor education. But of course I suppose some places are better than others. You know, the bullies. But, uh, I'm just gonna skip all this. You can feel free to pause it and read it. I really could not care any less about white blood cells right now. I just want to get to the horror game, man. Why with all the platellis? Correct, Lily. It's good to know that at least one of my students did sound reading. And I am very sorry. I know I normally never skip intros. But, this looks like it could be a really great horror game. And to those who did stick around through all this so far, I think they deserve to get to the horror before they, you know, bail out. When these platellets or trauma bites, 
Oh, expelled fire cut to scrape attacks and not the end that causes them to activate. Instead, the call again. Why am I reading it now? That doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I'm confusing and I'm confused. And I really want something scary to happen. But not too scary to where I piss myself. Oh, there's something. <coughs> this is just a sharp knife to the neck. Here's the creepy. Mr. Sieka, could you please tell the principal that the custodian still hasn't replaced the light? I might have to knife him. Mr. Sieka? Right, sorry. I'm Sieka. Oh, and I can move finally. Sweet. Sweet, sweet movement. And I don't need to go in the janitor's closet. And also, uh, what is this? The door is locked. And I better go to the principal's office. Where is the, Is it down here? I'm assuming, because that's the only other place. There are lockers. Can I steal stuff? No, I'm stealing stuff. I don't need to go to the library. Is this the office, then? Awesome. It's the only... Why do you have a bear? Why do you have a bear in your office? That is the most badass thing I have ever seen in an office. It's way better than that pencil holder. It's a fucking bear. Why do you have a bear? Yes? Miss Blackmore sent me. The light. Yes, sir. The fluorescent bulbs were ordered last week, still haven't arrived. I'd advise you tell Mrs. Blackmore to be patient, but she would probably bite your head off. Um, it was a joke. Right. Just tell her that I'll take care of it soon. Yes, sir. That doesn't answer my question about the bear, Bartholomew. Why does he have a bear? My mom has a couple of plants like these in the living room. Of course, because Bartholomews are incredibly great silent guardians. They're like gargoyles. Except they're not creepy as fuck because they're plants. And also they take water. Gargoyles do not take water because they're not plants. Why do you have a bear? I want that bear. I'm coming back for that. I'm getting that bear. What are you doing, Chase? Hey, Max. <coughs> Chase, you're dying. What are you doing here? Miss Coburn caught me watching the Crimson Death instead of doing my typing drills. Since I'm a repeat offender, Principal Lyman is supposed to elevate my punishment, whatever that means. I would have gone in, but I heard voices in there. Why were you here? The lights in Miss Blackmore's rooms are starting to flicker, so she sent me to ask about fixing them. Man, she's such a bitch. I'm not looking forward to seeing her third period. Actually... Miss Blackmore said something weird in class earlier. It really creeped me out. What do you mean? She was talking about blood clotting and how a knife wound to the throat would clot fast enough? Well, I guess that's true. Did she threaten to cut someone's throat? No, but it was the way she said it. Really intense. Like it was a threat. And the weirdest thing was, no one in the class seemed to notice but me. Now I'm really not looking forward to third period. This is just like Murder High School Season 3. Only one of those tits. I don't know, it's probably nothing. I better get back to class. Alright, later man. I wouldn't count Titch out of the picture yet. Pixel Titch are some of the best. We've got to stop meeting like this. I can already type a hundred birds per minute. Why can't I take a little me time? Being a student is stressful. Yep, so is getting knifed in the neck, Chase. But we're gonna find that out soon enough, aren't we? I really don't want to go here. I know something about it. It's like they're all gonna be dead, aren't they? Are you all dead? Nope, not dead. Well, he said that he'll take care of it soon. That'd be great news if I had any faith in our principal's competence. But I suppose it's the best I could hope for. You may take your seat, Mr. Sieco. As I was saying, mammals and birds have four tamed hearts and so do primitive fists, so the chambers are ordered sequentially. Reptiles, on the other hand, can make flashes, which is really badass and. <gasps> that apple is red! And that lily is also red! Ye know I'm not alright! Your dress, it's beautiful. Um, thank you? I've never. I normally can't see. That would be awesome. Oh, don't kill me! Why couldn't you have killed the apple? It was that bitch, Blackmore. You. What did you do? How did I do that, huh? You think I did this? It wasn't me! Wait. Where's Miss Blackmore? Do you think she could have done this? We need to get out of here. I'm not leaving this classroom. Are you crazy? Whoever did this is out there. You can go if you want, but I'm not taking that risk. Wait! Don't leave me. Please don't go, Mac. You can go if you want, but uh, but please don't go. We'll call the police as soon as I can. I really shouldn't leave her. Well, yes, I would like to save my progress. File one. Bitch, are you still alive? 
Alright, hell, I'm gonna check out this apple because I've never seen an apple before in my life. I was colorblind. I always thought it was just a pale gray circle, but it's red. Did you know that apples were red? Because I did not know that up until now. Be careful, Max. Yeah, like that guy was careful, and that guy was careful. You know what's weird? I think it's weird. It, she clearly took the long way around. If it was her, it might not have been her, but I'm pretty sure it was her. I mean, it seems like it'd be her. But she went from there, and she's like, oh, well, I'm gonna kill some students. She's like, stab, 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 walk. She could have just went, stab, stab, stab. She killed one extra student, and that is a murderer's dedication. Now let's find this murder with the same dedication it used to kill people. And hopefully bring her to justice. But first, we have to check on the bear in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.